You probably know that the air we breathe is made up of 78% nitrogen. It must be absolutely essential for life, right? Well, absolutely. Nitrogen makes up all living things' DNA, amino acids, proteins, and even enzymes. Nitrogen is really important. Oddly enough, though, we don't get the nitrogen we need from the air. So how do we get it? In this video, we're going to discuss the different types of nitrogen, what they are, and go over the nitrogen cycle. First, let's talk about the four main compounds that go through with the nitrogen cycle. N2 is nitrogen gas that makes up most of the atmosphere. NH3 is toxic ammonia. NO2 is toxic nitrite. And NO3 is not very toxic and kind of wonderful, nitrate. You've heard the water cycle. It's fairly simple. Water comes down. And then through a couple processes, water goes up. But on the other hand, the nitrogen cycle is a bit more complicated. It's mostly because there's multiple ways for these compounds to get converted between each other. So let's try and break it down and go over it. We'll start with nitrogen gas. Nitrogen gas has a triple bond, so it's extremely hard to break. Only a few bacteria have figured out how to break it down. These nitrogen-fixing bacteria take the nitrogen gas and convert it into ammonia. Ammonia can just sit in the soil until it's ready to be absorbed by plants, or nitrifying bacteria can then oxidize the ammonia into nitrites, which is NO2. Nitrite is kind of terrible, it's, it's worthless. It's not super stable, plants and animals can't use it, but bacteria can. So then more nitrifying bacteria oxidize the nitrites into nitrates. Now we have nitrates, and nitrates are wonderful. They're a very non-toxic form of nitrogen that can be used readily by plants or be denitrified back into nitrogen gas by more bacteria. Plants love nitrates, and they'll slurp that stuff right on up. Then animals will eat the plants and finally get their nitrogen. Of course, that's how we get ours. But it's not over yet. Animals can excrete ammonia in their waste, and when plants and animals die, they decompose back into ammonia. And of course, the cycle is complete. 